Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to remove security screens from your windows. It's easier than you think and all you need is a screwdriver. <laughs> what I'm working with here today are Brad Miller's windows and security screens and the windows are awning windows. They're the ones that you wind to open and close. But the way you remove the screen is the same, whether it's an awning window or a sliding window. And like I said, all you need is a screwdriver. One little tip that I can give you is if you're like me and you've got more than one screen and you're going to remove them all at the same time, is use something to mark on the frame which screen comes out of which window. You can use whatever you like. I use nail polish because it's something that I've got on hand. I can mark it on the, on the frame and it's not gonna rub off. That way, when it comes time to put the screens back in the window, you know which screen goes in which position because you have to line the screw holes up properly to securely lock them back into place when you put them back. So that's all I've done is I've put a mark. That one's on the left. That mark's in the middle. And that mark is on the right. Each screen should have four screws in it. Two at the top and two at the bottom. One, two, three, four. And then you just remove the screws. I've done this a few times now and each time I've noticed the same thing. The screws that you take out of the top are bigger oops, than the ones you pull out of the bottom. I don't know why it's like that, but seeing as how it's something that I have found every time I've removed a screen, I'm assuming there must be a reason for it. At first, I just thought it was because the guys use whatever screws they happen to have laying around, doesn't matter what size they are, but it seems to be consistent over all the screens that I've done. The bigger ones are in the top and the smaller ones are in the bottom. And you need to remember that because the screws have to go back in the same place when you put the screens back in the frame. Now you just need to remove the frame. I've lived in this house for 17 years and these screens have never been removed. So the fact that it came out that easy, go Bradnams, they're good windows. <laughs> Phew, what a relief. Then when it's time to put them back in, you just line up the mark you've made on the screen with the mark you've made on the frame. Put it back in, replace your screws, and you're done. Simple as that. If you've got any questions, if I wasn't clear about something, let me know down in the comments box. If this video helped you, let me know down in the comments box. I'd like to know what people need to see more of. And in the meantime, I'm going to remove these screens, give them all a wash. Thanks for watching. See you, everybody. This is how easy it should be. You undo the screws, the screen tilts out from the top, you lift it out from the bottom, and you're all done. But it isn't always that easy because over time the house it settles and things get just slightly out of alignment from when they were brand new and these screens are such a snug fit that they get stuck and as you can see the middle one i gave up on already and this one is proving to be difficult as well now watch the top right hand corner of this screen you'll see that it comes loose there, and see the top right hand corner is out, but the rest of it just won't go. It also makes it harder that there is nothing to grip on, there is just no room to get your fingers in anywhere. Yeah, it's not going to happen, Karen. Give up. <laughs> So what I'm about to do is go and get a flat head screwdriver 
and I'm going to use that just to be able to get in kind of like a bit of a grip. I can get the flathead of the screwdriver in and sort of pry it out and it really it's just this tiniest tiniest little bit that is making it stuck. Right here comes the screwdriver and watch how easy it comes out now because I can get a grip on it. There we go just like that and then I did the same thing with this middle one the middle one was the worst one no idea why it was stuck again in the top right hand corner and it was just did not want to come out everywhere else was loose except for that top right hand corner and I had to kind of pry it out so you know sometimes the screens will come out easy sometimes they just won't but they do come out they tilt out from the top, you lift it out of the bottom and that's the way you go. It just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of jiggling.